Hey guys, welcome along to Mishmash TV, the show that travels around your regions of the Waikato and Bay of Plenty. Every week we visit you guys at your schools, checking out all the awesome things that you are doing. And this term obviously has been Has Your School Got Talent term. Uh, we have seen nine amazing schools so far, and this week we have our final 10th school to visit. That is Tatai Coast School, and they are based in Papamoa, just like Tiako Ki Papamoa School was last week. And it's going to be awesome to see the kind of stuff that they have for us this week. They've got a karate performance, um, they've got cheerleading, they've got dancing and singing. So we have a whole lot of talent in store for you this week. Also, don't forget, if you haven't already seen the ads yet on our uh, channel, then don't forget that you could be uh, helping us decide who wins the audience vote this year. So uh, you basically just need to go to mishmashtv.co.nz, click on the Your School Got Talent page page and just select who you reckon should be winning this year's audience vote. They win a $350 Music Planet voucher to spend at their school which is pretty sweet. So let's head along and check out this first performance. It is Has Your School Got Talent time now at Tahatai Coast School. Today we have their first performance from a group of girls so let's check it out. Hi my name is Katie and this is the TCS Cheer Squad. Hi, my name is Kaylee, and we would like to give a big shout out to Taylor, one of our cheerleaders who can't be here today. Hi, my name is Jessica and some of the music we cheer to is Hey Mickey, I'm 16 I Know It, Barbie Girls and I love it. Hi, my name is Taylor and we have already won silver and gold, so today we're going to win this! Hi, my name is Sally and come see what we can do. Well, after that awesome performance, it is now time to chat to some of the girls from the cheerleading squad here at Tahatai Coast. So what are your names, guys? Charlotte, Ashley. Awesome. So we've met, I think, half of the group almost. We've met seven of you guys now, and there's, what, another five people in the group or something? Yeah. Yeah, awesome. Cool. So for you guys, what are some of your favourite things about being in this cheerleading squad? Being with our friends. Yeah, totally. It seems like you guys have a bit of a tight crew. Yeah. Like everyone seems to be mates, which is good. What, what's one of your favourite things? Probably the stunts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what are some of your favourite things to do then? Uh, probably getting lifted up in the air. Yeah. High. Yeah. 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 Were you one of the people at the end of that performance who got to do that? No. Oh, no. <laughs> How do you get selected to do that? Do you just kind of have to be one of the smallest people almost? Um, <laughs> but you have to like. 
be good at gymnastics, like yeah, flexible yeah. and stuff. Yeah, true. Yeah, because uh, what happens for you guys when you're practicing and stuff? Like, do many people, I don't know, like fall down from like getting held up like that or anything? Does anything like that happen? Um, not really. No. That's good. <laughs> Obviously, very good at what you guys do then. So, how did you feel that the actual performance went today then? Good. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. It went better than like some of our recent oh, yeah. performances. Yeah. Why do you think it went better? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> just happened like that on yeah. the day. Yeah. <laughs> That's sometimes what it's like, eh? Sometimes you don't do a good job and then other times you just randomly do. Um, but do you guys do lots of practice then for um, for these performances and competitions and stuff that you don't? Yeah, do? we usually do it like at 8 o'clock before school. Oh wow, really? That's quite early. So how often do you do that? Like how many days a week? Twice. Oh yeah, cool, sweet. So not too much, not too much practice. But talking about those competitions, especially these ones that you won gold and silver in, what, what were those competitions that you guys did? Um, we had to do like a gym comp, mm -hmm. and then after there was like hip hop and cheerleading. Yeah. Yeah, and we, we saw there was a cheerleading, open, like a cheerleading squad that we could join and make a group and perform. So we thought it was a good idea to put a cheerleading squad in. Oh cool, yeah. so you guys didn't even exist before that competition? No. Nope. Oh wow, <laughs> but were you, how did you all come together then? Like were you all just people that were good at gym and stuff? Yeah, because yeah. they mainly just picked people that were like best at gym. Yeah, yeah, well it's obvious that you all are. Doing all your splits <laughs> and your cartwheels and it was amazing. Um, can everyone do that like kind of forwards flip cartwheel thingy majiggy, I don't even know what it's called. Do you know what it is? Do you even know what I'm talking about? The front walker. Walk yeah, that one. Yeah. yeah. Um, not everyone can yeah. do it. Can you guys do it? Yeah, I can. No. No. Oh, something to work on. <laughs> That's good. You guys were amazing, though. So thank you so much for your performance and good luck in our competition. Thank you. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching Mishmash on Demand. Don't forget that you could be winning awesome family passes every week here on Mishmash TV. All you have to do is write into PO Box 411 Matamata with all your details, letting us know what family pass you would like, or write or go into our onto our website, mishmashtv.co.nz, click on the giveaway or contact tab there and find out all the details. <laughs> Well today is the 22nd of September and did you know that this day is celebrated as Hobbit Day? Now there are a whole lot of different things that people do to celebrate this day. Uh, obviously if you have seen the Hobbit movies or seen the Lord of the Rings movies like The Fellowship of the Ring, the very first one, uh, you would know that Bilbo Baggins uh, when he celebrated his birthday in that movie had a massive party with all the hobbits in Hobbiton and uh, ate lots of yummy food and things like that. So a lot of people who are big fans of The Hobbit and of uh, the, those Lord of the Rings books, they often do things like that, so celebrate Hobbit styles. Some people also go barefoot as well for the day since Hobbits don't usually wear shoes. But one thing I wonder is if they, uh, you know, cover their feet with like some hairy wigs or something like that because hobbits always have super hairy feet and different schools and libraries around the world also use Hobbit Day to encourage people to read J.R.R. Tolkien's books uh, so all of the Lord of the Rings series the Hobbit series things well not really a series just a book <laughs> but has been made into a movie series um, so maybe you can do some of those things to celebrate Hobbit Day today let's check out our first performance at Tiako Ki Papamoa Hi, my name is Caitlin and I will be doing a ballet performance for you today. This is a classical piece and I do arabesques and stuff like that. Other than ballet, I like to do urban dance and, bike, and going on bike rides. Come and see what I can do.
Now that was a beautiful, graceful dance from Caitlin just before. So good work, babe. How did you feel your performance went? Um, I feel like it went pretty well. Cool. Awesome. Have you done that exact dance a few times before for different performances and competitions and stuff? Yeah, I've done quite a few competitions, but that's my second classical. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. So how, how long do you think you've been actually practicing that exact one for? Um, <laughs> I don't know. A f- well, about three months or so. Yeah. Mm, maybe. I think I learned it last year. Yeah. Man, so that's a long time, so that's why it was so elegant and polished and stuff as well, so good job on that. Now, how often do you actually like have lessons and do practice at home and stuff for ballet? I have lessons at Matua every Tuesday. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I practice um, every Saturday. At, while you're at home and stuff? Yes, sometimes, yep. but we usually go out to the studio to practice, so yep. it's a nice big space. That's good, yeah, definitely need that, because otherwise you might not have enough space at yeah. home, eh, to like dance around, you might be crashing into stuff. And yeah. So what other sorts of dance do you learn or like to do other than ballet then? Um, I like to learn urban, which mm-hmm. is what I'm doing at the moment. Cool. Um, urban too. Yeah. Sweet. So what's involved in urban dancing then? Um, it's just like groovy stuff. Yeah. yeah. Is it more sort of like hip hop kind yeah. of, a little bit more like that? So is it weird doing two d- two dance styles that are like really different to each other? <laughs> Not really. Yeah? Does, is that why you like it though? Because they're both really different? Yeah, and I just enjoy doing them. Yeah. That's awesome. So, um, so with your dances and things, what are some of your favourite costumes and outfits and things that you've had to wear? Because this is pretty awesome. I'm loving this tutu. <laughs> <laughs> um, maybe my barefoot costume and my maybe my national costume yep. and my demi character, which I'm getting is a cute bunny costume. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost finished. It's Whoa. for my new demi character called the White Rabbit. Yeah. That's awesome. That's always the coolest thing about dancing, I reckon, is the amazing costumes that you get to do and stuff. And so how many um, performances do you do a year? Do you do heaps through your dance centre and things? Um, I do about eight or nine wow. each year. Yeah. All right. So what's like the biggest one for you guys? Um, I'm not sure, but I have a few people that I compete against which are kind of hard yeah true challenging people yeah definitely who can like make you better and stuff though eh, when you work hard so that's awesome cool well good luck for any of those competitions you've got coming up and thank you again for your performance today it was awesome Well, thank you so much for joining me today, guys. We have just so much stuff happening on Mishmash TV at the moment. Our final week of Has Your School Got Talent, the week that you can vote for your uh, favourite school as well in the competition. And also, if you are a Matamata local, you could be entering into our our LJ Hooker Matamata Colouring In competition. It's as easy as going onto our website and downloading this picture here of Mr Hooker Bear, uh, which our camera guy has actually beautifully illustrated for you. All you have to do is colour it in, drop it into the LJ Hooker Matamata office these school holidays and you could be winning a whole lot of amazing prizes. We've got Motet family passes, we've got family passes to other businesses, we've got drink bottles, balloons, beers, heaps of awesome stuff that you could be going in the draw to win. So make sure you do that and find out all the details at our website mishmashtv.co.nz. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye! This has been an Alpha Media production, a division of Television Media Group.